Let's have a crazy weekend. Huh? Well, my wife and I had to run away at home from home again <laughs> Saturday <laughs> and Sunday <laughs> while they were doing things that didn't smell very good and making uh, a lot of noise, and there's dust everywhere. And, right, and sometimes and, that sounds like a fun idea running away, but it's really not, is it? In this it? case, we would have rather been home. No, I'll, nice. I'll bet you. Hey, Mike, Families in Action is brought to you by your local hometown station, AM 1220 KHDS, and uh, the Goldmans, thank you so much. We've been on the air, Mike, for almost 13 years that's amazing isn't that incredible and, and you know what the, what the great thing about that is you know congratulations to action because you folks impact so many people in a good way teenagers adults and parents well teenagers. we should we sure try i'll tell you that i mean it's, it's there's definitely a need out there and also it's brought to you by action family counseling which is alcohol and drug rehabilitation centers we have adolescent rehabilitation centers where you actually live for a month and then we have adult ones and we have intensive outpatient clinics and do interventions and all that great stuff and action uh, the foundation which is our nonprofit, and, and people here know usually know about us of our hub, which is our Tuesday night action group at um, Canyon High School. We've been there forever. Yeah, you have. And you know, I've visited, I've toured with you. You've taken me to some of your facilities. Yes. They're nice. Thank you. They're nice. Yeah, we you, you know, got we, the ranch, you got yeah, the farm. I, I mean, was actually talking to a child, a 17 year old, that's been in three or four treatment centers the other day. I take them all to ice cream. So on Fridays, if everything's going good, they get to go hang out with me, and we go to Cold Stones or, or, the, or Baskin Robbins or something. I was talking to actually two kids that's been through other rehabs, and they said, wow, this one, I feel good. And, and some of the reasons are we, we, we try to make them not feel like an institution. We oh, try they to, don't look that. They look no, very homey, and we they're want in nice them, Yeah, areas. we want them to be homey. We want these kids to, and adults to come in and feel good about where they're at. Not, It's not, uh, you know, like an institution where it's it, you, you smell the cleaning and it's 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 homey it is and I, but i have to i have to say a word of caution to you you said you take them out for ice cream I ice, do. ice cream is highly addictive i know <laughs> <laughs> i know but i'd ra- i'd much rather have them be addicted to uh ice cream than what they come addicted to as you know when, when we get people people don't come into rehabs because life's good no. They come into rehabs because they're really a mess. And not only is it our job to get them off of alcohol and drugs, but it's our job to teach them that life is good without alcohol and drugs. You bet. Absolutely. And, and some of the simple pleasures, you know, like even going to hang out with, with me and whoever else for ice cream for an hour. There That's exciting go. stuff. For it them. is. And it's a big change from what they've been doing. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and it's it's crazy. Um, you know, Sundays we take them bowling into the movies. Some of these people, adults and adolescents, obviously separately, but some of these people, when we're taking them out and teach, showing them that you can have fun sober, That's right. they're mind-boggled. Absolutely. You know, I was talking to a, an adult, and he says, you know, I went bowling, and I don't, have an, I don't think I've ever had so much fun. No, because their whole world is kind of spiraling around those drugs or alcohol. Exactly. So they break out of that and they find out, hey, there's a life out there that's pretty darn nice. Yeah, and, and it's our job to teach them. You know, I was at, at the adult house on Friday before I went for ice cream, and, and this happened so much to me. Somebody said to me, hey, Carrie, how do you get your beard so trimmed? <laughs> and, I, and I smiled and I said, number two. He had no idea what I meant. So not only are we teaching them how to stay clean and sober, but we're teaching them how to just do normal stuff that they have never learned, yeah. how to do laundry. You don't put your whites in there because if you do and you put them with your blue jeans, your whites now are blue. That's right. And that had happened last week. We were laughing at one of the women that didn't do it. She said, my mother always done my laundry. Oh, boy, do I love that when I hear that. It's like, <laughs> why would your mother do that? But not only do we teach them, how to stay sober. We have to teach them how to live. We have to teach them how to be happy. We have to teach them how to be angry. Oh, we have to correctly, teach them how yes. to be sad. Correctly. How yeah. to deal with feelings that they've never had to deal with before. Yeah. So the only reason I'm saying all this is because all this, I, I mean, Friday, I, just all at one time. You know, and, it's like, and it's like every day we do, but yes, Friday I was dealing with all those issues. So rehabs are, are very interesting because you got to teach people everything. That's it's almost like they're, they're newborn. And people and, wouldn't think that. They would think all you're talking about is drugs all the time. But you're no, talking about how to get, well, get around in life. You know what? In rehabs, you don't talk much about drugs because once they're in, 
There is no more drugs. Now you're talking about life, life skills, growing up, dealing with feelings, emotions, and all that kinds of stuff. Guess what time it is? What time is it? It's time for a break. This is Families in Action on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Families in Action here on KHTS, AM 1220, your hometown station. I'm your co-host today, sitting in for Bob Sheritz. I'm Mike Doherty, along with your host, Carrie. All things considered, I'd rather be fishing. Quashin. <laughs> you know what? That's really cool because I'm going fishing in August. And you know what's really exciting about this fishing trip? What's that? My daughter's coming with me. Oh, my goodness. On a two-day fishing trip, we're going after big tuna, and my daughter's coming with me. I'm so thrilled. Now, Carrie, uh, if your daughter catches more fish than you do? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll tell you one thing. It's going to be a two-day boat. We're going right into Mexico, into the Mexican waters, and we're going after large tuna. And the good thing about my daughter going, her friend's coming, too, and I'm sure the deckhands are going to be all over that. Make sure if they hook them up, they bring them in. So it's really exciting stuff. There you go. And, you know, we have to, and that's another thing, we have to balance our lives, you know, at all times, especially in our career, in what we do as a career, you too. Yeah, oh, yeah. Because we work for behavioral health Mm -hmm. and substance abuse. So we're always dealing with heavy issues. Very. So we have to have a way to kind of balance that. And and that's kind of where we're going with our show today. Mm -hmm. Because when we get parents, I'm going to let you go from there. When we get parents coming to us. Well, listen, Carrie, now I know that you know this, but there are people out there that may not. Many families find themselves in stormy situations when their adolescent goes through a difficult period of development. No big surprise there, right? None. These crises are often accompanied by rebellion, drug and alcohol abuse, dependency, poor communication, low self-esteem, disrespect for authority, lack of motivation, academic problems and conflicts associated with divorce, death, peer pressure, and the stress and strains associated with living. I'm getting wiped out here. In today's society, there are no bad kids. However, there are kids who make bad decisions. And I'm such a firm believer in that. I really don't believe. I mean, we're all born good. You know, and we're yeah. born good, and we, and sometimes we get caught up in stuff, and we make decisions that are just bad for everybody. But I've been working with kids now thirty something, almost thirty five years, and I'll tell you, I haven't really met any bad ones. I I heard a, a one of the you know our in the behavioral health unit, it's eighteen years of age and up, right? And I heard an eighteen year old who was in the unit say on the phone to their parent, "I made a very bad decision, which brought me here." Unfortunately, one bad decision can change every somebody's world just like that. Just one bad decision can change somebody's world. I was dealing with somebody that um, carried a knife because he, this person was afraid of somebody. Oh, boy. And ended up, because he was afraid, stabbing someone and did 10 years. Mm. Just got out recently. I mean, one bad decision. Why carry a knife? If something happens... And you get scared and you use it, you go to prison. Why shoot dope? If you use it, you can overdose or get addicted. I mean, just one mm. bad decision changes everything. Why? Well, you know. Yeah, exactly. Now, Perry, I have a question for you. This is interesting. You, you folks at Action use a parent's bill of rights. We and do. And I bet there are a lot of parents out there that never even thought that they had a bill of rights. No, you know, when parents come to our groups, Mike, they're – they're dazed and confused. You know, if there's a mom and dad living together, everyone's at war. Mom's telling dad, you're too soft. Dad's telling mom, you're too easy. You know, people are ready to separate, divorce, sleep in other bedrooms. And that's not just if there's a kid that's acting out. If it's in a house where anybody's acting out, people are just kind of, they don't know what to do. Right. So when people come to us, they're, they're broken. There's major lack of communication. They're not on the same page. They're inconsistent. And it's our job to kind of help everybody understand, hey, consistency is number one. Number two, if you say something, mean it. Number three, become united. You know, if you're going to argue with your child don't or, or whoever it is, don't do it in front of them. Boy, you are really bringing up some powerful stuff. Really It powerful. is powerful stuff because people come to us and they're broken. And, and it's not just the person that they're coming to us about. It's the whole family. Because if somebody's using drugs or somebody's depressed or somebody's angry and violent, whatever that 
that negative behavior is, it directly affects everybody close to that person. Wow. Hey, you know what? Positively or negatively. We're getting ready to take a break, but I'm going to tell the people that are out there listening, you have got to stay tuned. You've got to come back with this because you've got to hear the Parents' Bill of Rights. There are 12 dynamite things in this Bill of Rights. Right. This is Families in Action on on our local hometown station, AM 1220 KHS. We'll be right back.